Not released today, but Apple did take the time to talk about their new iPhone OS 4.0. Now, it's going to be released in the summer, but today they gave the developers preview. So first off, developers gave them over 1,500 new APIs. Some include calendar access, automated testing, in-app SMS, photo library access, quick look, full access to still video camera data, still and video camera data, full map overlays, draggable map annotations, and a ton of other ones. Like I said, over 1,500. For the user, we're going to notice 100 different changes. One of the biggest ones will probably be the home screen wallpaper, um, places and photos, five times digital zoom for the camera on the iPhone, um, Bluetooth keyboard support, spell check, gifting apps. I would think that's more of an iTunes thing instead of an OS thing. But uh, they also give us birthday calendar um, and, and 100 features. Who knew? Um, yeah. Multitasking. Whew. This is a big one for Apple. They're behind the game a lot. Android's had it for quite some time, but apparently, according to Steve Jobs, they've done it right. Um, with saving the states of games and, well, you know, actual useful apps on the iPhone, um, productivity apps, it should increase battery life and performance that some people see if you're having hundreds of apps run. Um, I know a Palm OS can run like 40 and not have an issue, but... Uh, with Apple, they say, you know, battery life and performance will not die. So we'll see when it comes out this summer. But uh, I think they've done it right with multitasking. I think they've done it right looking-wise. Um, functionality, I don't know yet. But basically what you do is you would hit the home button twice, and a little dock would pop up, and you could scroll through that dock, according to Steve Jobs, and you would see all the apps that are open and all the apps that are doing things, um, working in the background, like multitasking should. And I guess that, that looks pretty cool, um, but it also, when you hit it, it takes up screen real estate. It's, I don't know, you wouldn't have it open all the time, but yeah, it's a small screen already. Apple needs to make bigger screens on their devices. I think it will look really, really nice on the iPad, um, and I think that's where it will definitely take off, as well as the iPhone. But we'll see when it comes out in the summer. I mean, let's hope Apple did it right. They're behind the game, but I'm sure they can step it up. Well, moving on to the next part of the keynote, um, Apple goes into a lot of new, um, not new things, but they go into a lot of background audio integration with Pandora and running that in the background um, so you can browse the web and run that. They also talk about voice over IP, um, so you can use Skype in coherence with your um, cellular service. So there's, I think there's going to be a huge um, Skype integration in iPhone 4.0. Background location is another topic they talked about where you can have turn-by-turn -turn directions while you're listening to music. Uh, might be distracting for drivers, but hey, it works, right? Um, they also talk about um, GPS using a fair amount of power and that it'll go off cell towers and then, like, it'll go um, off cell towers in certain areas and then GPS in other areas. Um, and they'd use locating from cell towers first. Um, but for apps like Foursquare and Gowalla, GPS would kick in. Um, they also have a little new awareness um, icon up here in the top bar. That's where it would go. And uh, it'll tell you when GPS is active. Um, they also have many more security features um, with location-based services since location is a privacy thing. And But it is um, becoming a main integration in many apps with Twitter. Um, and such. Um, Apple Push Notification Service, they also talk a lot about that and how there will be local notifications about areas around you. I'm guessing that would play in with sales and stuff. Like you, if you like your favorite coffee shop, like in downtown Rochester, you have the Bean and Leaf, they could send us a local notification um, that they're having like, you know, free coffee, right? Yeah, I wish. But uh, push notifications, not my thing, but they seem to be doing a lot of stuff with push notifications. Now I have an iPod and push notifications on here suck. Um, the Wi-Fi is, you know, it's on and off. As soon as you, like, sleep it, it goes off. Or so it seems like. And as soon as I wake it up, there's, like, push notification, but there's nothing I can do about it. I mean, I guess it'd be different with an iPhone. But if you're having multiple push notifications, it seems like they get all clogged up because there's no real, you know, you just, you can only see one at a time. Um, and then fast app switching would be another point that they go over and they demo like uh, tap tap. Something cool and useful. 
Yes, Apple did it again. Um, they have folders now where that 180, you know, app limit, because, you know, you need to have more than 180 apps on your iPod, you know, because everyone uses over 180 every day. Um, they've done it where you can drag it into folders and sort your games and such. I guess, I mean, if you had a lot of games, like I do, you put them all in folders, which would cut down on home screens because, you know, scrolling side to side takes some time. And with this, you could basically drag one app onto the other. It'll name it Games automatically with its intelligent naming. And you can change your 180 app library on your iPhone into, what they say here, 2,160 apps, which it's a lot of apps. But, you know, if you want to try everyone in the store, I guess you could do that, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, where did I put that one fan mail message that I got three months ago? Hmm. All right, for that one person that watches my YouTube channel, you can organize um, mail um, from different accounts and such in the new iPhone, iPhone 4.0 OS. Um, you can organize them by thread, like you would your SMS, um, by person, and you can open attachments in different apps. Uh, it's, it's integrating all the apps together and making them work as one, which is which is pretty cool. And it's nice and organized, because we we all have those cluttered inboxes, am I right? Do I even need to explain this? Come on guys. We all knew it was coming. It's 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 a new selling feature for Apple's iPhone. You wanna read books on the go? Get an iPhone. There we go. <laughs> and last but not least, leaving iAds for another day, the final part of the keynote was gaming. Basically Steve Jobs is like, hey Xbox Live for the iPhone, um, including several things such as achievements, leaderboards, um, friends, and basically bringing social networking to gaming on the iPhone. I'm not sure how they're going to implement it with each in, each individual game, but I'm assuming invites to games and such would take place. Um, it looks like a really cool concept, and I think it's really turning the iPhone into a mobile gaming console with phone features. <laughs> I mean... They're basically taking gaming to the next level. Obviously, the majority of the app store is gaming, and not as much productivity phone apps, which would, I guess, make them want to do this. And I think it looks really sweet. It'll definitely be a step up from the mobile gaming platform. I'd like to see how PSP, uh, Sony, and Nintendo come back and try and fight it, because this is definitely going put, to gonna put a dent in their industry. Anyway, guys, that is all I have for this video. iAds will be in another video coming up. Um, the new mobile advertising attack against Google, pretty much. Um, and you guys can stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. Like this, because it is awesome. Actually, it probably sucks, but like it anyway, right? Um, and thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.